And we have new information tonight about the young Colorado woman who went from shy, quiet suburban girl to an accused terrorist. Look at the transformation. This yearbook photo shows Shannon Maureen Conley from her junior year at Arvada West High. And this photo, also from 2012, alongside her family. And now, here she is this February, training with the United States Army Explorers. The FBI says she wanted to learn U.S. military tactics and firearms. 70s anchor Eric Connor here with why this young woman may have been so easy to lure, Eric. And Ann, I took that question of how could this happen to an international studies professor tonight, and he told me recruitment videos like this one, this was found on YouTube, it is from ISIS. Well, these are making terrorism very attractive to America's youth. Vulnerable and naive, some young Americans are finding terrorism rebellious and romantic. This is the latest fad. This is the latest fashion. DU International Studies professor Jonathan Edelman says the arrest of Shannon Conley is the latest example of a scary trend. To them, all of this, including the possibility of being in battle, can somehow seem Heroic. The FBI was on to Conley last fall after acting suspicious on a church campus. They interviewed her nine times in the five months leading up to her arrest, learning Conley had a suitor who claimed to be in Syria fighting on behalf of ISIS. Conley told the feds she planned to travel there to be his housewife. Neighbors tell me she was just your typical girl walking down the street and then one day she just turned. What scares you about that? What scares me is everything you've just said, that there's no path, there's no trail, there's no way to stop something like that because she was, just as you said, a typical girl like thousands of other girls, and that's what the other side is looking for. How do they get changed so quickly, so rapidly? How do these guys get into their heads and just change everything that they used to stand for? Because at a particular point in time, especially middle to late teens and early 20s, people are ready for adventure. People are ready for romance. People are ready to rebel against their family a bit, about the country and so forth. So how successful are these recruitment efforts? Professor Edelman says nearly 3,000 Westerners are in Iraq and Syria fighting right now. Most of them have no idea what they're getting into when they head overseas. Eric Conard, 7 News.